Hello all. This is a short introduction to get you started on EDET 636, the impact of technology on student learning. Now I'm using a program called Blend Space to actually create our lessons and I'm just trying this out to see whether we like it and whether it works well for us. So this week, um, I'm going to send you this page and when you come to it, you'll see there are six little panels. It, so the best thing to do is to click play and that's going to give you an overview. Um, the very first panel will be this video that you will then be able to watch. And then this is the second panel. It's called What is Data? And you can open this in a new tab. And then you can read this. And so this will allow you to, to think about the different sorts of data that are around us. And that's really what our theme for this week is. It's the data all around us. And there's really more data around us uh, than we might think. On each week, or rather on each panel, I've given just a little uh, introduction of what this panel is. And you can add a comment here if you have a question or, or you have problems with some of the comments. So um, feel free to do that. So then go to the next slide. And then this is the Egan uh, Library book that we're going to read in this first week. There are two chapters. And so when you click this tab, you're going to be prompted to log into the library. So do log into the library, and then you'll be able to, uh, to read the book uh, unless apparently it's in use. So, and actually, I'm the person who's using it right now, so I'll close it just in case um, other people would like to. So, uh, hopefully, you'll be able to get in there. And the best thing to do would be to print the first two chapters of the book to read them. Um, that, that would be helpful for you. That way, you're not, um, you, you don't get stuck if somebody else is reading the book and you're trying to read it at the same time. And then you have your blog one assignment. And for those of you who have taken my classes before, this is very like some of our other previous assignments. Uh, you will set up a blog in WordPress. I have some tutorials I'll send to you if you've never done that before. It's very easy. And once you set up your blog, then uh, this is your assignment to actually just think about the data in your everyday life. That's our theme this week. Um, and what is the data all around you that, that could help you to consider the impact of technology on student learning. And when we think about student learning, I don't want us to limit ourselves to the academic because we all know there are many different um, facets to learning. There are motivational facets, emotional facets, there are social facets, um, and there are academic facets. So don't limit your thinking just to academic. You can think about all of those facets of learning. Make your first posting by Friday. I have to apologize to Alita because I told her mistakenly we were going to begin on Monday. So Alita, I'm sorry, and um, but I'll be sure that you do have this information. So do make your posting by Friday, and then by Sunday, comment on the blogs <clears throat> of some of your colleagues. And then uh, you remember the blog roll. And so do put your name and your blog address and your Twitter handle on the blog roll. If you're new to blogging and tweeting, again, I do have some tutorials I will share with you. But this is just a Google spreadsheet. And when you click the link, you'll be able to go in here and you'll be able to actually type in it. It looks like you can actually do that here. Um, no, you can't. You'll actually have to click the link. To, to go to the spreadsheet. And then finally, the standards and levels for this week. Um, level one is a B. So uh, if, you, if you actually achieve at level one, that would be a B in the class throughout. Um, level two is an A, and level three is an A plus. It's exceptional. So um, these are the levels that you'll be able to achieve throughout the class, and I'll just keep them before you uh, in each lesson. I will be putting up a spreadsheet to invite you to host a Twitter session, but we won't do that yet. We'll start tweeting next week rather than this week. 
our Twitter time will be Tuesday at 5 o'clock. So do plan on that from next week moving forward. So that was just when you click play, you can play through and you can see everything for the week. Now to actually go to these links, you can click the link here, open a new tab. Um, and then the only one I'm a little concerned about is the blog roll because it doesn't seem to want to um, to allow you to to add your name here. So if that is a quirk, then um, I'm also going to send you your uh, the link to the blog roll in the announcement that I'm about to send. I will have a full syllabus for you next week, um, and I will do another video just to tell you a little bit about the class. Thank you very much.